Governor Ron DeSantis and a group of Florida lawmakers are spending this Memorial Day overseas. Today they toured a middle school in Tel Aviv. News Channel 8's reporter Mike Vasilinda traveling with the governor in Israel. Here at Ariel University in the disputed West Bank in Israel, heavily armed security was beefed up for the governor's visit, but security here is a reality for every school as lawmakers making this trip found out firsthand. Representative Chris Sprawls of Tampa, in line to be Speaker of the House, wants a serious look at a single point of entry for every Florida school. What I saw today was a, a, a very controlled environment where you had one area of ingress and egress from the school. Once the students arrive here in Israel, we visited a middle school in Tel Aviv. Um, that, that, that gate is secured. The threat here in Israel is different. It comes from across the border not from across town. Still, lawmakers say there's plenty to bring home. Lauren Book, who represents Parkland, asked plenty of questions about age-appropriate training. We're talking about three and four-year-olds knowing how to access a bomb shelter, what that means, what that looks like. That is a part of life here. And while Israeli schools may have had students with mental health issues, Representative Randy Fine says they confront the students early on, head on. Over here, they're not afraid to call out bad behavior. I mean, part of what we saw with Nicholas Cruz was a culture of trying to look the other way. And that, that, that was entirely preventable had government done the right thing in advance. They don't have those issues over here. And, and the security that lawmakers viewed here firsthand has kept this country of 9 million from having any serious attacks on their schools since the early 1970s. Reporting from Tel Aviv, Israel, Mike Vasilinda, News Channel 8. Now, under Israeli law, every school must have a six-foot-high fence with a single point of entry, not including emergency exits. We're going to bring you the latest on governor's, the governor's trip to Israel on air and online and on our News Channel 8 app.